While the Ukrainian armed forces continues its activities in the region, the legend of the war, Barakta TB2, adds a new one to the blows it inflicted on the Russian army every day. This Turkish-made Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicle, which has caused great trouble to the Russian forces. Since the first day of the war has completely changed the course of the war before the invasion, 35 Barakta TB2S had arrived in Ukraine and the Ukrainian armed forces had completed their training in using this epic unmanned aerial vehicle and Russia had not yet met the Ukrainian Barakta TB2 in real terms, the Russian army, which entered the territory of Ukraine started the invasion attempt with air strikes and bombardments and then continued with a major ground operation months before the start of the war, U.S. and British intelligence had informed of a possible Russian attack on Ukraine. This clearly showed that the Russian army had been preparing for this attack long ago and the Russian attacks that started simultaneously in the air, land and sea with Putin's order were the biggest proof of this. However, there were a few things that Russia did not expect in the region and the most important of these was Barakta TB to superior operational support and attack power. The Ukrainian Barakta TB2 struck the armor of the Russian ground forces with his hard fist. This clearly showed that the Russian army had been preparing for this attack long ago and the Russian attacks that started simultaneously in the air, land and sea with Putin's order were the biggest proof of this. However, there were a few things that Russia did not expect in the region and the most important of these was Barakta TB to superior operational support and attack power. The Ukrainian Barakta TB2 struck the armor of the Russian ground forces with his hard fist. The star of the Ukrainian skies Barakta TB2 first destroyed a Russian tank and it was claimed by Russia that it was a chance. This was followed by many tanks and armored vehicles destroyed by the TB2, but in the first days of the war, Bayraktar TB2 had to destroy a Russian air defense system to come of age, and it did in a report and images published by the Ukrainian armed forces. It was clearly shown that Bayraktar TB2 destroyed a Russian air defense system and Bayraktar TB2 was now becoming a nightmare for the Russian army. On June 4, the Northern Operations Command of the Ukrainian Armed Forces published the latest operational images of Barakta TB2 on June 3. In the published footage, it was shown that Barakta TB2 destroyed the T-72 tank one of Russia's most powerful tanks in the region, in the Kharkiv region. With this attack, the effectiveness of Barakta TB2S used by Ukraine has been proven again. According to the operational data of Barakhtar TB2S, it is reported that they destroyed nearly 1000 military equipment and targets in three continents, Asia, Europe, Africa. It is known that more than half of this success took place in Ukraine. Looking back over the past three and a half months, it is reported that Ukraine's Barakhtar TB2 destroyed a total of more than 500 Russian military equipment and weapons. It is reported by the Ukrainian army that the Ukrainian Barakhtar TB2 destroyed at least five Russian Navy ships. Dozens of Russian tanks, hundreds of armored vehicles, three command, centers, ten air, defense systems, nine helicopters, two trains, a communication center, and many more unreleased targets. In addition, Bayraktar TB2S, which provide operational support in reconnaissance and target identification, are the eyes and ears of the Ukrainian artillery units. In particular, the TB2 attracted attention with the joint operations carried out by the Ukrainian artillery brigades with the Asmada M777 155mm howitzer. As a result, and Bayraktar TB2S have now become a phenomenon for the Ukrainian army. Epic was written for TB2, songs were sung, Barakta TB2 is not such a flashy aircraft, but it is very meaningful and functional. It is even cheaper than its U.S. and Israeli counterparts. Barakta TB2 is only as good as it needs and gives what is expected from it to its users. TB2S are currently only around 5 million and one of them can damage or destroy a 300 million dollars. Air Defense System It's up to you to gauge the TB2's value to Ukraine and its damage to the Russian military, but I can only say that Ukraine probably used five dozen, maybe more TB2S. 
It is not known how many were shot down by Russia, but even if it was very unlikely that 50 were shot down, the cost of all of them is less than the cost of one S-300 air defense system complex or a $750 million Russian flagship Moscow recently, Ukraine's Western allies have even started collecting funds to purchase Barakhtar TB-2S to support Ukraine and ship them to Ukraine. Lithuania was a pioneer in this regard and made an agreement with Baker. Defense company to gift Ukraine, a Bayraktar TB2, Lithuanian citizens collected 6 million euros in just three days. However, the Turkish company honored this move and announced that it gave Bayraktar TB2 as a gift asking for the money collected by Lithuanian citizens to be sent to Ukraine. As humanitarian aid Ukrainian Bayraktar TB2S broke many prejudices on the battlefields and greatly changed the war tactics in the modern world. Now it seems like Barakta, TB2 and similar ones can destroy. Everything in this case special mentions should be made of Barakta TB2's operations at sea because for the first time in the history of naval combat Barakta TB2 proved to the whole world that navy ships could be defeated by a drone. The Turkish-made Barakta TB2 drone has been gaining sympathy and attention lately as it was seen to be instrumental in the sinking of the Russian Black Sea flagship Moskva and four Russian Raptor patrol boats by Ukraine. According to Ukrainian sources, Bayraktar TB2 destroyed a total of five Russian Navy ships in the Black Sea. Beyond the destruction of these ships, Bayraktar TB2S played a leading role in almost every operation carried out at sea. It distracted the ship in the sinking of Moskva and it was not hit against a ship with superior weapons like Moskva and left the area safely. It also came to the fore with the blows it inflicted on Russian military targets and air defense systems on the Snake Island. This put his reputation above all other drones. Of course, there are much more powerful drones than Barakhtar TB2 in the US, China, UK, Russian Federation, and Israel in the world's military inventory, and those in a class similar to TB2 could have achieved the same success. However, as we have just mentioned, TB2S are much cheaper than their counterparts and Baker Technology describes the TB2 as the best in its class. There are many reasons for this. Of course, TB2's flight time range price, laser-guided missiles. It carries ease of use altitude being invisible to the enemy and the most important frontline experience as its multifaceted operational use. TB2S attacks actually reflect many aspects of it. This unmanned aerial vehicle can show outstanding success in many different missions as used by Ukraine. It can act as a communication relay spotter jammer sensor, target designator and decoy. It can gather intelligence, conduct, surveillance and conduct reconnaissance operations. The drone is a versatile tool, despite its lack of speed and range. In fact, the story of Bayraktar TB2 is a big story spanning three continents. Barakta destroyed nearly 1,000 targets in Ukraine, Azerbaijan and Libya, where TV2 stood out and TB2 proved its difference on the front many times. Although the TB2 is used extensively domestically by Turkey against dissidents such as the PKK, the drone has been sold to at least 13 other countries and has performed well in Syria, Libya and the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan, especially in Nagorno-Karabakh. Azerbaijan controlled TB2S destroyed. Hundreds of Armenian armored vehicles supplied by Russia, giving Azerbaijan a decisive advantage in the war with this advantage, Bayraktar TB2's producer, responsible and chief engineer, Selsik Bayraktar was awarded the Order of Honor from Azerbaijan. The Russian military equipment first suffered the wrath of Bayraktar TB2 in Armenia and knew firsthand its effectiveness. That's why Putin had repeatedly opposed Turkey's sending TB2 to Ukraine and warned Turkey. Russia tried to put a lot of pressure on the Turkish government in this regard. However, Turkey broke this pressure of Russia to say that Baker Defense is a private company and cannot interfere with its commercial activities. Russia could not afford to further disrupt its relations with Turkey, which currently does not impose diplomatic sanctions on itself and still feels compelled to be an ally in many regions. Even Turkey's closing of its airspace to Russian military aircraft has become a major agenda item during his visit to Turkey. Today, Russian Foreign Minister Lavrov made requests to his Turkish counterpart Mevlut Kavusolu on this matter as well and asked Turkey to open its airspace to Russian war and delivery aircraft. 
Turkey played and will continue to play a critical role in the Ukraine war in terms of both Barakta TB2S and preparing the political peace environment. The most serious negotiations between Russia and Ukraine so far have always been held in Turkey and it has been clear that this will continue in the future.